The Agco Crop Tour is all about learning hands-on in the field from ourselves and from our growers. It gives, us, it gives us a chance to plant the seed and learn what happens with other factors like downforce and depth and singulation and basically ground truth what you should and should not do. And we have yield results proving the, uh, the impact of those, those influencers. So what we've done is we've taken our 9800 series VE planner with precision planting technology and we've purposefully gone out and replicated some common planting mistakes that have been made. And what we're doing is taking customers into the field to show them what kind of yield impacts things like incorrect depth may have, incorrect spacing and singulation, uh, incorrect downforce which could create compaction, or too light downforce which could result in incorrect depths as well. What it's all about is for you as the grower, you know, are we getting many ears like this? What's our ear count compared to are we able to be consistent with ears that we see like this? Uh, this year we also put an extra emphasis on speed. We wanted to know can we achieve the level of accuracy we saw last year at higher rates of speed using the precision planting speed tube. And so far we're seeing that yes, we are able to achieve that at, at up to 10 miles an hour. Many of the farmers we're talking to here at New Ulm, Minnesota and other crop tour sites are saying if I could have planted just another 300 acres in those five days, I bet my yield potential would have improved greatly just simply from being in the right conditions. And they're very interested in speed tube on a VE planter and what that can do from a productivity standpoint. So with speed tube, it's about maintaining agronomics, such as seed placement, downforce control, spacing, but being able to hit that ideal window, which provides the highest yield potential. We've been partnering with Precision Planning for two years, actually, and we started last year with the crop tour, learning about how the Precision Planning technology can help the white planter get better. We're not changing any of our philosophies from white planter. White planter has always been about accuracy and precision. What we're doing is we're upgrading the technology and that's where precision planning comes into play. Yeah, so the uh, Planner Technology Institute, the PTI trailer, it's a semi-trailer uh, that was custom built. It slides out into a 60 seat classroom with row units, with uh, planter displays, um, with a video wall. The grower was driving by and saw the vehicles and said, Huh, I wonder what's going on and pulled in and saw the PTI semi sitting in the, in the lot and he came in and said what's going on he said well it's an educational event you should go check it out he left and said I think I just made a hundred thousand dollars based on some of the tips that I found you know we can see uh, there can be a lot of benefit in increasing our technology or in, in uh, you know seed placement um, spacing um, keeping the rows clean planting depth the, the demo of three and a half inch planting depth down to one inch was pretty eye-opening on how that one inch planting depth is that detrimental to corn and corn growth and corn, corn yield. And so at both Precision Planting and Agco, the focus is for the farmer to ensure that they go to the field next spring equipped to do the best job possible. That could be through the purchase of a new planter. That could also be through the retrofit of a planter they currently own. Agco is very excited about our, our whole portfolio of products, looking at soil management with, with sunflower tillage tools, white planters with precision planting technology, as well as application equipment like row gators and terrigators. So we have a, a complete suite of products that can help you manage your input costs and maximize your yields throughout the whole entire growing process. Agco has really invested in the past two years in, in growing our agronomic insights, doing projects like crop tour, uh, performance agronomy, crop care, for example. It's, it's all an agronomic message. We're trying to share with our growers things that can they can go to their plot, measure this year in order to hone in their operation to do better next year.